Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is my final um is my final in the series of my declutter videos. So if you haven't checked out the other um parts, definitely do. I will have them linked in the description box as well. Um, but I do have a playlist. So this is the final part. We are here. This is it, you guys. And this is the hardest hardest category i know i've said that throughout but this one is truly hard because i have my morphe palettes my urban decay palettes and i love those two brands um i love their products so this is going to be very difficult for me but anyway we're here we're going to do some declutter so if you haven't watched the other parts definitely do because i did explain why i'm doing a declutter but to summarize i have over 400 palettes from my last count definitely more than that and I'm trying to, you know, get rid of half of them. So we're going to see how well we do. Um, at the end of this video, I'm hoping to show you guys an after of the um, of what it looks like arranged. And also a tally of all the different videos of how many I decluttered. And we'll see what the grand total is. So I will put that at the end of the video as well. But yeah, let's just jump right in because that's the only way to get on with it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, especially if you love my content. And if you love the clutters, collection videos, makeup tutorials, um, plus size fashion. If you love all those wonderful things, product reviews, you're going to love my channel. And I hope you stay tuned. But yeah, let's go. So Urban Decay palettes. <sighs> Deep breaths. Okay. So the first one is the Bond to Run palette. This is a little newer to my collection. Um, and I did pull this in a Shop My Stash quite recently. And I have got some good use out of this palette. I really do love the color story of this palette. I love how easy it is. You've got those beautiful jewel tone colors in the shimmers. And you've got the matte. Sorry, before I carry on, I just want to apologize if you can hear birds chirping chiming whatever it's really really hot and my windows are open i normally don't record when my windows open anymore ever since someone complained about the birds but it is super hot and these lights are very hot and i don't have any air conditioner unit i live in the uk so you know you know we don't really get air conditioners <laughs> so i need to leave the window open so i hope that's okay but anyway, so back to this palette. I really do love this palette. It's a great everyday palette. I do love the pigmentation of this one. So I am going to keep this palette. Next up, we've got um, the Naked Ultraviolet. Now, I did at one time have all the Naked palettes. And I mean, every single one. One, two, three. I had, um, I still have three, actually. I had one, two. I have three, um, I had the smoke one, I got rid of them. So I've got rid of a lot of my Naked palettes over the years. So we're going to get rid of some more today. So the Naked Ultraviolet, I do have a review of this palette. And as I mentioned in the palette, it, it in the video, it isn't one of my favorites, okay? Pigmentation is good, the quality is good, but it's just not one of my favorite color stories. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't reached for this palette ever since I did that video. So, she's gonna go. Uh, Naked Cherry palette. I love this palette. I'm not gonna get rid. I did say to you guys when I was, um, when, when I had the Coastal Scents palette, that I'd probably keep this. Let me get the Coastal Scents palette so you guys can see. What I think. All right, so this is the Revealed Rouge palette next to the Urban Decay palette. So Urban Decay on top, Revealed Rouge. You can see that there's a lot of similarities, but the Coastal Sense palette also has some other shades that the Urban Decay palette doesn't have. And so I am going to keep the Naked Cherry. And I know um, someone did comment that, Ur and that Coastal Sense has packed up which is very very sad very disappointing because i remember you know one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from coastal sense was that massive one that had two trays i forgot what it was called 
two trays of eyeshadows so you had colorful like i just i can't remember the name but anyway fun memories of their hot pots the eyeshadow palettes so it's really disappointing but uh, it's one of those things that happens anyway so i'm keeping a naked cherry this is the naked three for the longest time i enjoyed using this palette this was my go-to cool tone eyeshadow palette i did loads of looks on um uh, with this one most of them were more like bridal type of looks but i really did enjoy using this palette now i'm not gonna lie i haven't used this palette in a while it's been a minute so i'm not sure if i'm gonna declutter this so i'll put this in a maybe pile come back to that one naked heat i am keeping i love it i love the tones i love the pigmentation i love the quality i need to pull it into a shop my stash really soon but i see it as more of like your autumn type of palette i just haven't used it recently but i'm definitely going to get more use out of that one so i'm keeping that naked honey is by far my favorite from the naked series i love it and i know i haven't used it as much as i should but I do love this and I think I do have a, a either a tutorial or a review of this palette on my channel so definitely check it out but girl she's just pretty she's that babe and the packaging is so nice as well so I am definitely gonna keep this one the stone vibes palette I didn't do a review of this palette I did do tutorials and you know shots and swatches on Instagram but I never did a review on youtube because i don't know how i completely feel about this palette the tones are beautiful especially the jewel tones but then the matte shades just leave a lot to be desired to be honest so i wasn't sure where i sat in terms of is it worth it do i like it it definitely isn't one of those palettes that strike me as i need it but you can't deny that the packaging is gorgeous so I think this is gonna go into a maybe because I'm still on the fence. I don't know if I really like the palette. I, I don't know. So I'm gonna put it in a maybe. Oh God. <laughs> Vice um, Reloaded palette. Now, a lot of my Vice palettes reloaded, I, I, I'm gonna put my hand up. I didn't use them as much as I should have. So I've just been keeping them out of guilt. That I didn't give them as much love as I should have. Like there's so many shades in here that I haven't touched at all. Never touched. But it's time. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not. I'm really not. And I'm just keeping it because I feel guilty that I didn't use it. And I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. Um, so I'm going to give it to family members. I know you can't get these palettes anymore. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give it to family members or if I'm going to try and sell it. Because they are very unique. You can't get them anymore. But this one's going to leave my collection. I'm, I'm hurt. <laughs> hurt at myself. But it has to happen. The next one is the Vice 3. This one. This is the Vice. Yeah, this is the Vice. I believe this is the third one that came out. Now... I remember when Made by Mitchell came out with his brand with the sleeves and everything. People were like, oh yeah, it's the first time they're seeing it. And then I made a comment um, underneath someone's comment saying, oh, Urban Decay came out with um, palettes and pouches. You know, the Vice palette. And everyone was telling me, no, it's not true, blah, blah, blah. You know they're young. So I felt like, yeah, I'm showing my age here. <laughs> Because these palettes are pretty old, um, but they're still really good quality. That's one of the things I love about Urban Decay palettes. Like, they, they're they old, but they still work. They're not dry. The pigmentation is still there. I still swapped these palettes recently, and I still found how that they were pigmented, and they worked really well. But the likelihood of me using it is very slim. So, again, another one I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass along gonna leave my collection and I'm very sad about it but it's gotta happen um elements eyeshadow palette now the packaging of this palette is so stunning but there is no way of storing it without putting it in the box at least not the way I store my shadows because it's just gonna roll out 
and this is what it looks like i think this was a really good one for me i did enjoy this quite a lot i did get quite a bit of use out of this one at least so i don't feel as guilty um but one of the things i didn't really like was that there was no dark brown to kind of lift some of these more neutral colors and there was no matte blue so like i always felt like i needed to use other eyeshadow palettes alongside it and so i just never never used this so <sighs> she's gonna leave my collection i know i know i'm being a big girl i put on my big girl panties before i started this video because i knew it was gonna get hard alice in wonderland <laughs> who remembers this palette i did a whole review of this collection i picked up the whole collection that was the time in my life when i picked up every single collection that urban decay came out with and this one was a beautiful one it just has that beautiful butterfly in the middle the mirror as well we're all mad here that is a saying we're all mad here girl you're not crazier than i am I'm just as crazy as you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then here it says, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. And then this is it. And I did enjoy using this palette. I did create a, a few beautiful looks with this palette. I'm not going to lie. But I haven't used it in at least a whole year like a whole year my my head hasn't gone oh yeah i should use that palette it's just never it's time to let her go it's time it's time you know my nieces are gonna enjoy this alice in wonderland they're gonna they're gonna enjoy it so i'm decluttering that one vice four another pouch okay this one the packaging of this one blew me away this was so fun from urban decay and the vice palette became lighter more efficient the color story as well of this one stunning i'm actually going to swatch a few shades for this one so you guys know what i mean by the pigmentation is there still there still there like it's still very 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 pretty um but Am I going to keep it? Am I going to keep one vice palette? Let me think about it. Because if I was going to keep any of them... Actually, let's put this one and the vice three. Because I'm not sure. I do want to keep one vice. For which one? So let's see. Ooh... Let's see, Vice 3 has more of the darker tones that I love. But then it's, this shade is so pretty. So, like, Heroin is, has always been a favorite. Freeze as well. Like, those are my type of shades. Um, I don't know. Because I don't know, because I'm so torn... I think I'm gonna get rid of both. It's better. It's better if I get rid of both and then I don't feel guilty that I got rid of the wrong one. I'll just not have them. They're both leaving. I told you guys this one was gonna be difficult for me. I told you it's gonna be difficult, but they're both gonna leave. Game of Thrones, who remembers this palette? this guy was huge and do you want to know an unpopular opinion <laughs> or oh, an unpopular fact i have never watched a single episode of game of thrones i mean i've heard about it i'm surrounded by people that absolutely love it but i've never watched it so but when this came out and i knew it was urban decay i didn't care i i still wanted it so I got it, and this has the infamous throne. So, 
looks like that. And a little quote that says, never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. Okay. Got a mirror and then slides out is the palette. Which looks like this. This is my jam. This is a nice palette. The only thing is because the packaging is very very bulky but it's so pretty i'm keeping this one because i out of all of them i would use this one more i just need to make a conscious effort to use it but it's so pretty and um yeah i'm gonna keep this one okay so let me let's really go back to the other two all right, so let's quickly look at the two Arendi K ones that I said um, are maybe. So the Stone palette, I think I'm going to declutter it because I'm too much on the fence with it. But then a Naked 3, I think I'm going to keep. Um, I feel like I can still get a few more nice looks with it. Before I move on, I literally just got this in the post just now. And this is the... Makeup Revolution Earth Palette. I remember when these came out, because there have been a few of them. And I think they retailed, like, they originally retailed for £15. I was like, they're cute, but, I mean, £15? It's a bit steep. So I held off purchasing. And then Revolution recently did a sale. And they came up, or this one came up at £6. So I was like... Okay, girl, this is your moment. I'm trying to get it out while I talk. Get it. So, out of all of them, this is the one that I love the most, obviously, because of the tones. Oh, if I can even... There we go. Look at that. It's just the marble effect for me. It's the stars, the, the colors, the blues, the greens the jewel tones for me they're not that many matte shades like literally not that many but i think they covered a good selection of the mattes that would make this palette i mean look at that that one looks really really unique doesn't it so i've got this one this is new i'm keeping obviously because it literally just came today and it was six pounds so you guys, honestly, have a wish list. This is how I shop, and I, I'm going to share it in my next video. But, like, make sure you have a list. You don't have to buy everything when it comes out. Take your time. Pick and choose. <laughs> Be selective. So, that's what I did. So, I saved a really good amount of money. And I only purchased it for £6. But, yeah. Let's keep going. All right. I think we're in Morphe territory. So, let's go. There are lots of mini palettes that I've got. This is the 90 palette. This is cool tone. Oh yeah, and I enjoyed this palette. I do have a tutorial up on my YouTube channel using this palette. I used it when it came out. This is like your one and done eyeshadow palette. I love the tones. It's not too warm, but you still get really beautiful looks. That dark shade is just beautiful. It just makes everything look really deep and intense. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I do enjoy this one. Quite a lot all right so let's keep that one and then let's pop them here so you can see and then i've got the nine eye palette i don't think i've used this one yet or maybe it looks like i've used maybe one shade or another shade here i can't really remember what i think about this palette so i'm gonna hang on to it i am working my way through the mini palettes and there are a few that are already like I don't really enjoy it, but this one I can't really remember, so I'm going to keep this. 9K palette. This one is a lot thinner than the others. Alright, so this is the khaki one. The one that I got instead of the Huda Beauty khaki palette. I haven't used it, but it's kind of like my thing. The greens and the browns. So I'm definitely excited to give this one a go. I haven't used it yet. And then... 9L Lilac, I think this one is. 
9 l is the lilac yeah i know morphe just came out with them again but this time with the colored packaging i swear they listen to my videos because the last time i did a collection video i said i wish there were the packaging wasn't black i wish it was colored like how ColourPop does their palettes i want to say they watch my videos and they did that that's what i'm gonna say but anyway this is the lilac one i haven't used it color story stunning but i haven't used it keeping uh 9c oh i have used this one <laughs> this is one of the ones that i used and i don't like the formulation of the shimmer shade it's just too chunky and it takes a lot to kind of blend it in and it's present in pretty much all the shimmer shades so i'm going to declutter this one it's pretty disappointing i don't like the quality of this one so this one's gonna leave um 9w i like this one is oh i think i liked it mm, i know i pulled it into a shop my stash and i used it a few times so I'm going to keep it for now. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it for now though. 9J. Yes. I haven't used this one. But it's like your pinky mauve palette. Beautiful isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Hopefully it performs. But I'm excited to give it a go. So I'm going to keep that one. 9D palette. Oh yeah, I've used this one a lot. This one reminds me of the um, Yes Please palette from Colourpop. Um, I just love the tones. I just, yeah, it's very nice. I've used that shade so many times. I, I really do like this palette, so I'm going to keep this one. Jaclyn Hill Collaboration Palettes. This is a Dark Magic palette. I repurchased this these palettes again um i gave my sister the vault um that i picked up when it came out and i was missing these palettes so i picked this one up again it was a bargain probably like five quid or six pounds it was just it was at a really stupid price and i'm loving it so far i've used it in a few makeup tutorials i've used it in my shop my stash she's a good one keeping i haven't used this one called blink boss yet um i've only just swatched berry treasure but i haven't used it yet and i haven't pulled in a shock my stash or used it at all so we're gonna keep this madison bear love this palette basic babe palette like this is how you do neutrals with a pop of black this is how you do neutrals and it covers a spectrum of skin tones because you've got black to deepen shades up this is neutrals and the quality of this palette is really nice i know there are people out there saying they don't like it i don't like from morphe formula i'm sorry i like it i think the quality is really really good i don't know who she is don't really care <laughs> but morphe did something with this one i really like it the same with the maddie um Ziggler palette the imagination palette a lot of people said they didn't like this palette so i'm like why the quality of this palette is brilliant and the pigmentation is brilliant the few the i did a quite a number of looks on instagram and i swatched this palette i mean it's just stunning you can see it's had a lot of use i'm so i'm um, i don't know what they're talking about like these palettes are really good i think people just hate on morphe <laughs> a lot all right so we've got these midi palettes so this one is 18f there was a time last year i was just buying them because they were going on sale and i think they were trying to get rid of them because they've come out with the colorful packaging for all of them now so anyway it's the same color story on the inside so we move this is 18f i've used this palette once and i did enjoy it so i'm definitely gonna keep it um yeah I love it i think it's pretty so i'm gonna keep this one 18b blue palette oh no this is the breaking bank is it called the making bank breaking bank what's wrong with you <laughs> i haven't used this palette yet but you can see from the color story that it's something i would love you know this and the dark magics palette from and um, the jacqueline hill collaboration would be bomb 18s again i picked these palettes up last year haven't used it don't really care for the press glitter but it's just one shade but 
haven't used it stunning though keeping morphe you need to print the names on the palette you know what i got time for sleeves or films 18t this one i do have a tutorial up on my youtube channel this is the one i use to do a date night look nice cool tone palette do you see why i feel i don't really need the orgy palette from jeffree star though it hurts but i've got loads of neutral palettes cool tone warm tone palettes that would last me so i'm keeping all of them i almost feel like at this point i'm just showing you guys my morphe collection because <laughs> I'm keeping a lot of things all right avani greg avani greg newest palette to newest multi palette to my collection i haven't even broken her out of her packaging and gone you know i don't need the packaging because i literally just stored her away when i when i um showed you guys the palette because all i've done is swatch the palette like i have a, an arm swatch of it on my where is it but I, yeah, I've got an arm swatch of it on my, um, why can't I get it? Come on. How about that? It's big. It's a big palette. I've got an arm swatch of it on my swatch page. And these are supposed to be water activated liners, but I think you can use them as eyeshadows. Um, we've got one press glitter. I think it's a pretty palette, you know? She's not going to go anywhere, but the packaging can go. But she herself is going to stay at home with me. <laughs> Another one that I picked up is the Morphe Jeffree Star. This one went for a really, really, really cheap price. Um, and I still haven't used it. This is over a year old and I still have not used this palette. And you know what? I'm still going to keep it because it's a Morphe palette though it's in collaboration with jeffree star i think i want to use it because i love the color story this is one that will probably sit in like a shop my stash or something <sighs> mama mitchell's collaboration main event i know it was him and someone else can't really remember who i picked it up because of mama mitchell nothing not because i need the palette or i felt like i need the palette but because i like mama mitchell and I like to pick up everything that he does because he's amazing. So these bottom rolls, again, water activated liners. I'm pretty sure you can use them as eyeshadows. I mean, why not? And then you've got two press, two, three, four press glitters in there. One of the shadows came compromised, but it's all. How rude. My, um, my camera cut off on me. One second. All right, so how rude my camera cut off by now i was talking about the 24 main 24 m main event palette so i am gonna keep this one next up is the 24 a artist pass palette now this one has a lot of glitters in it uh, about eight so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven glitters in it and then the rest are like your standard colorful shades and then your neutral shades i did do two looks using this palette one is colorful one is the neutral and it is a very beautiful pigmented palette however i've come to realize i don't like pressed glitters in my palette so i'm gonna pass this one along it's a beautiful palette morphe did send this one to me they also send the avani greg but the others i purchased so this one this one's gonna go because just too much press glitters you know okay back to black packaging 3503 i purchased this one and did i have any business purchasing this the answer is no did i purchase it all the same the answer is yes don't know why i purchased it but i'm gonna keep it because i will use it <laughs> it's pretty it's shock my stash worthy 35c everyday cheek palette i've actually used this quite recently and i do like this palette i love the greens i love the cool tone nature of the palette i love that they've added some sweet pinks and some pastel pinks in the palette as well um i love it so i'm gonna keep it. it's a very unique color story so i'm keeping that one 35 old supernatural glow this has come out in several versions over the last number of years but it's still a staple beauty and i recently did a 
tutorial and review of this palette and I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. still reminds me of the OG neutral eyeshadow palette that everyone loves and this is like your standard go-to neutral palette. Like you've got everything you need. All the browns, all the blending colors. It's a nice balance of warm and neutral shades and cool tone shades. I just... I love this palette so I'm keeping. All right, 35C Bronze Goals palette. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this palette because I love it. I know a lot of people didn't like this palette. They didn't like the chunkiness of the shimmer shades and a lot of these um, shimmer shades is what's present in that. Um, so if I bring that palette that I'm decluttering, for example, you see that the texture is very, very similar. The texture of the shimmer shades is very similar to the texture in, in this. Actually, this and this look really, really similar. But there's just something about this palette that just works for me. I like it. I've got quite a lot of use out of it. And I'm not ready to let it go. So I'm going to keep this palette. Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first one. I did have the OG original one. But I gave that to my sister. And I was missing it so much that I repurchased this. I have recently added this to Shop My Stash. And... This does not perform as well as the first one did, at least in my opinion. Some people did say that it's been reformulated. I don't know. The quality is not as speng as the OG palette, but I'm still going to keep it because, you know, I bought it. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. This was PR and I love this palette. I created quite a number of looks already on on YouTube, but I will create some more because this is one of those beautiful summertime fine type of eyeshadow palettes. Like it's so so pretty, so stinking beautiful. So this is her second. This was the second um, collaboration, I think. So yeah, volume two and then volume one. So that's them. I'm not doing really well with Morphe palettes. I did tell you guys. <laughs> 35H. Did I have any business buying this palette? The answer is no. Did I buy it all the same? Yeah. So this is split into cool tone and warm tone colors. So you've got blues, greens, and you've got your reds and oranges and neutral shades. I wish there was a black. That is not a black. That is a brown. That is a blue. I wish there was a black. They just needed to pop one black. Just swap this out for a black a black matte shade i know they've made this palette spank but i'm still gonna keep it nikita morphe nikita palette this was pr i still haven't used it i don't know why i haven't even swatched it i don't know why there's a press glitter in here i don't know we're not gonna dwell too much but I do appreciate that the names are printed on it. But not going to dwell too much. Keeping. Morphe Lisa Frank 35B. A lot of people said this is just a reformulated, repackaged, or originally uh, released eyeshadow palette. I don't know. I never picked it up. I never picked up a 35B. But this is what it looks like. It's colorful. It's very pretty. Um, I remember Lisa Frank, remember her stationery. Um, I haven't used it, so I can't really tell you guys more than that. I do love the packaging, it's so freaking cute. With a little tiger, you know, she's cute. And then this is 35M Boss Mood. This is my most used Morphe palette, as you can tell. This is the one that is a, that the, um, I should just get it rather than speak just get it so the palette that my friend Toto sent me which is the Marrakesh from Technique dupes this palette through and through so they're pretty much the same like in terms of the colors they're pretty much the same literally literally the same look at that pretty much the same so but I don't care. I'm going to keep the two of them because I do like the two of them. Um, pigmentation is still very brilliant for my 35 mood. I've used this a lot. And I'm going to keep it. 
All right, I need to move these out of the way because the one I'm going to show you is huge. It's the only biggie that I've got. So this is the 39A palette. I got it last year. And I have used it quite a number of times. And this is your ultimate jewel tone neutral type of eyeshadow palette you've got beautiful grungy dark colors here you've got neutrals you've got 50 something shades of beige with so many shades of brown which is good for blending and layering um so i do appreciate that in the palette and i love it i use this palette i reach for it a lot especially that there's a black i do reach for this a lot i'll probably pull it into a shop my stash again i know i have once maybe if i remember but i can pull it in again and use it so let me put these palettes away and then we count how many we're getting rid of this time oh i think actually let me look around and see if there's any other palette i'll be right back aha uh -huh. jokes i forgot a whole p louise category but this is a, a new palette this was sent as part of the strawberry or what am i talking about this is a collection that um i, I heart revolution just recently sent me so i've just taken the eyeshadow palette from the box because i haven't even opened it so i'm opening it on camera for the first time so this is what the packaging is so pretty so this is new from iHeart Revolution. <gasps> Stunning. Look at that. Very fresh. Very, very fresh looking. So this is new. It's a whole collection. I've got some lip products. I've got a highlighter. I've got this palette. So I haven't even looked at it properly. So we're keeping that one for sure. And then as I said, I forgot a whole P. Louise range. <laughs> so the first one is the Love Tapes palette. And one of the things that just does my head in is the packaging is not... <sighs> I know they're meant to be like statement pieces, but honestly, it's not practical at all, P. P. Louise, it isn't. Anyway, I wish that it could come out, but it can't. Anyway. This is the Love Tapes. Um, I've used it maybe once or twice and I did enjoy it. I used the highlighters as well. Happily Ever After is gorgeous. It's a palette that I love. I wish I could cut it out. I wish I could take it out of this bulky packaging. It, I would get more use out of it, but I can't. But I do love it. I love this. And I know she's come out with the mini tapes, which are 17 pounds each so i've got my eye on it maybe christmas if she does like a sale or something i might pick it up anyway this is the nude palette so this is the one that i think is a good um replacement for my jeffree star palette as well i know p louise is in some drama as well but you know i don't know these people they're all in drama i mean they all have problems we all have problems so I don't know. I like the quality of this palette and I've used it. I've created a few looks. I've also used it on YouTube as well. So definitely check that out. And I did enjoy it. Again, it's just really bulky, but um, like heavy bulky, but all in all, still very pretty. You know, you can't fault it for that. It's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous palette. So keeping. Secret Sinner palette. I don't even know why I still keep this in a box because honestly, it's hard enough <laughs> trying to store it as big as it is. But this one is not even as big. It's just heavy. I've used this in a shop, my stash. I did get quite a bit of use out of it. It's a beautiful balance of colors and some neutral shades. And it's so freaking pigmented. I love it. It's really good really really good and plus it stuff it opens up and just stops there i like that it's the little things and the packaging is just so gorgeous so we'll keep her i think i'll get rid of the box definitely get rid of the box okay waldy palette this one's another biggie slightly bigger than the secret sinner palette uh, again just very chunky 
to open i haven't used this one at all not because i don't want to but just because it's at the bottom of my collection because of how chunky it is and so i don't get that much use out of it but i am gonna juggle some things around and rearrange so it's gonna be a slightly different so hopefully i will get more use or some use out of it because i haven't used it at all I'm gonna keep all right so those are my p louise i do have some single shadows and random singles um, I did curate my book of shades from Color Drain. I do have some singles here. Occasionally, I reach for them. So I have my pinky plum color story. I've got my blues and really weird colors color story. I'm, I'm, I'm having like I'm missing two shades there. I can't remember where I put them. And then I've got neutrals, which is here. You know? I do get some use out of this but again it's because it's not front and center so we are gonna fix that because this will accompany a lot of palettes that I use I do have an overflow of shadows in my Inglot, oh, Inglot palette which are more dual tone shadows again no skin off my back store in them so just showing you guys and then I departed some of the um, Colourpop shadows. So these are all shimmer shadows in this one. Which honestly, since I de departed it, I haven't used it. Because again, it's at the bottom of my collection. So I just need to remember to bring it up. And honestly, I think that's it. So <laughs> let's see how many palettes I'm getting rid of. Alright, so this time around, I'm getting rid of eight eyeshadow palettes. So I know it's not great, but I already knew that this category would be my hardest because there are a lot of palettes I still haven't used. A lot better than my previous collection video. Um, I have started using a lot of my palettes now, but I need to really crank it up. We're already halfway through the year, girl. So I know I need to crank it up. But so far so good um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to rearrange the entire area and then i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and the collection and everything and then i'm going to tally up how many i am getting rid of all together so that we can really end this video nicely so thank you guys so much for watching so far be right back Oops, actually forgot that I also decluttered the 24A, so nine palettes in total. You guys, my room is a mess, so things are everywhere. I do apologize, but yeah, nine palettes in total. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe I got rid of a whole layer. Let's go. All right, you guys, I think I am ready to show you. I'm not even going to pretend. This is the second time I'm recording this. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to the clip, but let's do it again. So, the top part of my um, bookshelf now has all of my electronics, lighting that I'm not using, any big jewelry pieces that I'm not using. I do have a lot of beads. Those boxes are full. And headphones and just general um, accessories that I'm not using at the moment. I've also got some storage um, accessories in there um, in that basket that basket is repurposed from one of the PR packages from elegant touch so I like to reuse stuff in my room but that is essentially what's on top first shelf I've got uh, Ofra palettes Revolution Pro Pixie um, Makeup Revolution XX Revolution iHeart Revolution and Revolution Glow. So that's sitting nice and pretty. You can see that there are gaps in there, which is brilliant. Um, I can easily see my palettes and reach for them. Next shelf, I've got my mini palettes. So Aether Beauty, Day Day Signature, um, my ABH palette, my Trixie Mattel palette, Trixie Cosmetics, Sigma, um what's that one called um oh, i forgot the name <laughs> um midas cosmetics huda tarte 
Pat McGrath and the bigger Ofra palettes, including the Colourpop palette, which doesn't sit there. Actually, my Colourpop palettes are up there as well, but I haven't got any space for the big ones, so it's sitting right there. And then here, I've got my Juvia's Place palettes and Indie palettes and Novina palettes. Novina palettes. So I've got Juvia's Place, um, BH Cosmetics, Colored Rain, um, E Unique, my Natasha Denona, and the Novina palettes because it's a, the similar packaging, so they just sit quite nicely like that. And then next unit, I've got my um, Urban Decay Morphe palettes, Beauty Bay palettes. Um, the one and lonely Jeffree Star palette that I've got that was just a recent gift. Um, I might re gift that actually to my niece because I know she does love um, that blue blood palette, blood sugar palette. So I might. Um, but anyway, this is what this is. And then these two units are now empty and free for me to use. So right now I'm keeping all the stuff that I'm getting from PR that I want to work on. Or work with i've also got my p louise palettes there i've got one of the palettes out because i used it today and then down there i've got my empties in the gray little box and then i've got um oh and then down there i've got my empties in the gray little box and some extra products that i received in pr so let's turn the camera this way so you can see how nice it all looks looks really really good okay and then so i did take out the stuff from these units so let's not open that <laughs> so now i've got my skincare products so these are my masks um in here my dirty brushes in that bag and then I've got my face scrubs and then washes and then I've got moisturizers and serums and then this is supposed to be hair care products so they sit quite nicely so I want to say that I did really well I've got space that I've never had before I've actually got space to put my things properly and actually see my things so i can categorically say that my eyeshadow palettes only live in this bookcase and it's only gonna live in this bookcase so i don't want to um spread it out or put it in other places i want to keep them all here so if anything new is coming in and there is no space we're gonna have to get rid of something so that's how i kind of like want to work and just really really be strict with myself so yeah i am gonna put up on the screen what we did decluttered in uh the first part what we decluttered in the second part what we decluttered in the third what we did in the fourth what we did in the fifth and what we did in this one and then have a full total of all the eyeshadow palettes that i have decluttered all together i also did count how many eyeshadow palettes I have left and bear yeah, with it down. so I needed I needed to go look at it so right now I have 245 eyeshadow palettes so as I'm talking to you guys I don't even really know how many I've decluttered so you're probably going to be seeing it on the screen as well so I think we did pretty good so I've got 245 I'm going to try and keep it under 300 and not go crazy like I've done over the last couple of years. Keep it nice and curated. I feel like I've been going through a lot more of my eyeshadow palettes now. I've been using them more. and They've been coming to mind more. So keep throwing out your suggestions. Um, I had one of you lovelies suggest that I do a tutorial using the ABH Prism palette. So I'm thinking of doing like a flash from the past so this palette i'm thinking of doing like a flash from the past type of video type of thing so a whole look using products that 
um a little bit older maybe not forgotten but just a little bit older so yeah keep throwing out your suggestions now that you guys know what i actually have in my collection i have shown you guys everything that i have in my collection i don't have any new eyeshadow palettes that i haven't shown you so yeah if you've made it this far if you've watched all six parts drop a comment in the comment section saying hashtag blessed <laughs> let's just say hashtag blessed if you've watched all six parts you understand what it means just say hashtag blessed so that whoever is not watching it or hasn't watched it will go what 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 are they talking about <laughs> but yeah i'm just kidding you guys are the best and i love you thank you so much for watching i will leave you now and i will go and lie down in a dark room because this was a lot of work both mentally and physically but yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today and black lives always matter and i'll catch you guys very soon oh yeah sorry before i go i do want to do declutter of my bronzers so collection and declutter of my bronzers and my blushes um i've got some beautiful dark skin favorites so i do want to get rid of some of the ones that i'm not wearing so hopefully i will must up enough strength for that but yeah that's to come <sighs> see you guys soon take care bye <laughs>